Now this video is going to be all about sourcing stock to resell on eBay for profit and I'm going to show you some of the bits I've picked up recently at car boot sales and charity shops. As a sneak peek you can expect to see stuff like really cool old school videos. We have got some football sticker albums partially complete but with some good stickers in there and even like really weird just creepy shoes they're creepy because you know look at them toes they just oh, I don't like them but what we'll do is we'll run through why I picked them up what I paid for them and what I think it's all going to be worth let's get on with it Hey guys, Ian, the master of pieces here. I'm an eBay reseller, and in this video, we're gonna run through some of the bits I have picked up to resell on eBay for profit, mainly from the boot sales, but also from the charity shops as well. And this is gonna be a kind of a new format for the videos. There's gonna be no sales whatsoever in this video. I quite like doing the independent, individual sales videos. So this is just gonna be stuff I have picked up, and we will run through what I paid for it, and what some of it is gonna be worth, because I haven't checked everything on sold listings. So. The first sourcing avenue I want to talk through is my Saturday morning boot sale and I managed to find or fill an Ikea bag full of stuff. Now it's been a bit hit or miss this boot sale because there is another boot sale on Sunday which is much bigger so I think a lot of the sellers just don't bother going to Saturday morning, they just go to Sunday instead. But luckily there was a few there this week. And like I always say, I'm always very keen to get my first purchase of the day done early. Get into the swing of it, wake up a bit. And this was a pretty easy one. We've got an old school mastermind game. She said that she'd gone through and sorted out the pieces. Don't really believe it. It's got a bit of tape on the back, but I only paid a pound for it. So that should be eight, nine pounds plus postage, something like that. So a good start of the day and somewhere to get you in the mood because... I went around a few more stores and I found this. This really caught my eye. Now, I, I, I've had a few VHS videos before. Some of them have been okay, most of them haven't. But this one just caught my eye because it is a really retro looking horror DVD. Um, Evil Dead 2 and it's also the Palace premiere. Inside the video is, it's in reasonable condition but it has got a few stickers on there. But that is the prem, Palace premiere version. So. Looking up sold listings, they're all over the shop. Anywhere between five pounds. And I've, I've, people have been listing these for about 40. So I don't know, with Halloween coming up, I'm gonna aim for 20 pounds plus postage. Paid 10 pence for that one. So yeah, either way, my money is safe. And on the same store, I managed to find a few other bits. This one wasn't worth picking up. We've got this old school Spider-Man bike, really, really faded, even in good condition. That'll only sell for five pounds plus postage, but that was 20 pence. So, you know, that'll probably go back into a charity shop. And there was one other thing I did find, ah, just a bog standard calculator. And if you've watched some of my recent sales videos, you've seen that these have been selling quite well because it's obviously back to school season. And this is the same calculator I've been selling, just a normal Casio scientific one. There's the numbers all at the top, got the cover, paid, well, I paid a pound for everything. So 10 to 70 pence. That is an easy five pounds, six pounds plus postage. Right. <coughs> Next on to some more meaty stuff. I then went round and just did a little canvas of the boot sale. It wasn't particularly busy, like I said, and I actually bumped into the South Wales resellers. So guys, I want to give you a massive shout out because <laughs> as soon as I saw Mike, he come up to me and was like, Ew, this is rubbish, this is rubbish. And they walked home with like two massive IKEA bagfuls. They spent 80 quid, bought some real good stuff and pit me to some Pioneer headphones. So go over and check out their source and video from the boot sale. Really, really good one. But after I saw them, I then went around and found a few more bits. Um, found these wee steering wheels. They were a pound each, but those will make a nice bundle because I do have a Mario Kart that will bundle well for those. That's got to be 11, 12 pounds plus postage. Maybe, probably more if I put Mario Kart in. Don't know. I'll have to have a look at souls. We then found another store because I was just looking around indoors by now and actually the weather was really nice and they st did start to go outside some of the sellers and I'm glad I went outside and had a look because I found this Superman clock just in the bottom of a box I'll leave them just 
just poke in there. Superman clock and also a transformer for my collection. This is animated Ratchet. It's probably my favorite Ratchet model of all of the Ratchets that have been produced. I have had this one before, but sold it and I had all the weapons before and bundled that in with it. That without the weapons will probably go 10 pound plus postage. And I also found some other little bits and pieces from her. We had a little rescue bot here. That's not a particularly valuable one. And I will bundle that one in with other rescue bots. Um, and also this little piece of you know all those um, lightsabers that all clip together can't remember what they're called but that is a little attachment for that she wanted three pound fifty for all of that so you can't go wrong i mean my money is made back at least with that superman i'll be aiming for eight pounds plus postage that is a tenner um yeah you know easy 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 right and then Next next to her was another guy just selling some of his old children's stuff. He had this Robin figure here and also this Batman here. I paid 50p each for those. Um, they'll go for probably 11, 12 pounds plus postage as a bundle. But also keep a lookout for these guys. These are die cast monster trucks and these are from a children's TV show which is on Netflix. I think it's called Blaze. My kids watch it. Um, just keep an eye out for them. They make really good bundles. Um, it was, I bought five of them. Four of them are indoors because my kids are playing with them. But I managed to sn snag this one just to show you. Um, they'll go for, as a bundle of five, 12, 13 pounds plus postage. And I was getting them for 20 pence each, 30 pence each, something like that. So that was a good one. We then come across a CD player inside still in the box alba um it's in reasonable condition um it does have the original headphones but the foam bits on the end of the headphones are all a bit grubby so i don't even know if i'll sell it with that but two pounds are paid that'll go for eight or nine pounds plus postage we then found what else do we find now we get into the bottom of the box um or bag harry potter first edition um, hardback book, Order of the Phoenix. That's probably a three, four pound book on its own. But like all resellers seem to be doing at the minute, I am going to get a stack of these and try and complete the set and sell it as a big bundle. But my favourite find of the boot sale has to be these. Some fella, has to be these two here. We've got two football sticker albums. I'll show you this one first. This is the Premier League '96 album, and this has the rookie. David Beckham sticker in. Now, if this Beckham sticker, you see him at the bottom there, if that Beckham sticker hadn't been stuck in and was still had the back on it, you're looking 100 to 120 pounds just for that sticker alone. But this is reasonably complete. I would say 75% complete. That will still go for between 15 and 20 pounds plus postage. I paid two pound 50 for that. And also two pound 50 for this one here. And this one is a bit more of a rarer album. And the sticker to look for in this collection, not as valuable as the rookie sticker you've just seen there. Uh, let me just dig it out. It's quite close to the front. There's another David Beckham sticker there. See him there? Look who, look who, who has stuck that in there. Like when I was sticking stickers in back in the day, it had to be like all the corners, all the lines were, were matched. That is rough, eh? That one is a solid sticker. Um, and as an album, not as valuable, maybe £10 plus postage. That was £2.50. But as an added bonus, inside this one, we had this retro Man United poster. And I don't know how much this is going to go for. There's no sold listings. You wouldn't expect there to be. I mean, who keeps posters like this? If I fold out carefully. It's Man United team in a grey kit. You've got Bex on the corner there. Is that in there? Bex on the corner there has just been chopped off almost. But that is awesome, isn't it? And then if, I mean, if you turn it around, you've got Shaka Hislop, the old Newcastle keeper. If you got, look at him there, you might, if you're a Shaq Hislop fan, you'd be loving that poster. But that is probably worth more than that sticker album I just showed you there. So that's really, really cool. All right, so that was it from the boot sale. Let me just um, find everything that I've picked up in the charity shop and let's run through that. Right, hang on a minute. That was not it from the boot sale. How... <laughs> How have I forgot to show you this? It's a massive box, like staring me right in the face. And this was one of the first things I picked up. And what we've got here, I wasn't really sure what it was, but in here is, it's from Bratz. You know the dolls, Bratz? You might recognize them from that picture there. But basically this is a Bratz mall. So you've got lots of different shop fronts. There's some little lights inside. There's four of those different shop fronts. 
Um, you've got a set of escalators or an escalator stair set there. Um, tested, working. It's all a bit grubby, needs a wipe down. It's not complete. But if that was complete, uh, with lots of accessories, you'd be looking at 35 to 40 pounds for that. Now, it doesn't have the accessories, but it does work. Needs cleaning. That's going to be 20 pounds plus postage. Paid three pound fifty for the whole box for that. And also, I picked up a ton of like corgi and um, dinky cars. Look, loads of them. So I, I basically saw a seller just bring out a pallet from his truck and lay them all down. I said, how much do you want for all of them? And he was trying to get five or each for them. But I picked up eight for 25 quid. So I got them for just over three quid. Yeah, these are quite modern, really. But the ones of note, you've got that Rolls Royce there. It is called, what's it called? The Silver Cloud. That one's worth about a tenner plus postage. Um, I got some, these are quite cool and will make a nice bundle. Not worth any more than three to four pounds plus postage each though. Um, that was not particularly good. This is a good one because it's numbered to 5,200. Little certificate on the bottom there. You've got a Land Rover Defender. That's got to be worth a tenner, 10 to 15 pounds plus postage. Another numbered car here. This one is out of 5,200. Again, 10 to 15 pounds plus postage. But these two here are the best ones. And he wanted five pounds each for these. And I, I didn't pay it originally. I said, nah, no thanks mate, would you take less? No, blah, blah, blah. So I walked away and thought, hang on a minute, I can't leave these here. We've got an old Bedford bin lorry. Still got the little tabs on the back. If I open those up, see, still got the tabs on the back. Mechanism works really well. That's got to be worth, in that condition, only eight, nine, ten pounds plus postage. Not mega, mega money, but you can't be leaving that round. But this one is a lot better though. You've got this Coles kind of extendable crane. Now, it has got the string around the little winchy bit there, but doesn't have the hook on the end. Still got the little outriggers on the side. Absolutely battered. I mean, I've seen worse than this. If I paid five pounds, even in that condition, that'll go for about 20 pounds plus postage. So yeah, I, I I took a punt on all of these cars. You know, obviously cars are collectible and some of the old ones do go for a lot of money. At three quid each as a gamble, I was always gonna take it. And those dinky ones, five pounds, you gotta be picking that up. So now it's time to run through some of the charity shop pickups. Right, truth be told, I haven't been going to the charity shops as much as I used to because basically the boot sales are giving me enough stock to keep me going for that week. I'm very conscious that I'm building up a fair bit of stock and I don't, I'm limited to the time that I can list because I do have another job as well. So there's no point in me just stocking up and stocking up and actually not listing much of it. So I'm going to focus on the boot sales, but I do pop into the charity shops now and then because I've picked up some bits and pieces and it's not too bad the first one i'm going to show you right this is a little bolo and these are sweet valley high books um they're really really retro and i got them for 20 pence each in the charity shop we've got one two three four five six seven so that is what pound 40 for those bargain isn't it now someone is trying to sell these three this is a complete set catchlin books there Someone's trying to sell them for 35 quid plus postage. Realistic sold prices, you're looking two to three pounds each plus postage. So what's that? 14 to, 14 to 21. God, it's getting late. My, my math was a bit slow then. You're looking at about 16, 17 quid on average, I'd say, for those plus postage. We'll see. We'll see. It all depends if you've got corresponding numbers, all that type of stuff and good titles. But I need to do a bit of research into those. Um, next up, this was a good one. Found this Sorry board game. Now, I've never heard of Sorry. It's not a particularly appealing cover. I see that and I think, oh, I really want to play Sorry. It just doesn't, does it? But I paid a pound fifty for that, and that will go for eighteen pounds plus postage if it's all complete. Next up, I got to show you these just to get them out of the way. I think they are horrible. Like, oh, just the shoes where you've got individual toes. Oh, not for me. They're they're called vibram shoes they're quite a small size they're um i don't know what the english size is but there's w37 so they look pretty small that's got to be what a size four somewhere like that i paid a pound 50 for those and um, those will probably go for about 18 to 20 quid plus postage don't quote me on that i need to do a bit more research but they go for more than you would think 
Uh, next up, just a little bundle, something to put in a bundle. A little, is this Schleck or is it Papo? This is Papo. Uh, thing to look at with the little Papo dragons, do, do they have the flames? And I've got some Schleck knights that that'll bundle up really well with. That was 20p. We had some little Sonic bits and pieces. Haven't looked this one up, but that was a pound. But I bought that because I got another Sonic thing, which we'll come across later in the video, maybe. It's down there somewhere. Um, this was the next good one. Two pounds. If it's Tomy and it's plastic and it's 80s or 90s, I am buying it. Doesn't matter what it is. And that, I've tested it and work it, tested it, it's working. Um, there's no batteries in it, but you've got to test all the mechanisms and that. That will go for about 20 pounds plus postage. This was a really cool one, and this was a surprising one as well. This is called Rattle My Bones, or Rattle Me Bones. And this was two quid. Um, the, the lady said that she found all the pieces, and it's got the instructions. It's caked full of battery acid, though. I told her, don't worry about that. I know how to handle that. I've done enough Trackmaster to make that work. Um, so, yeah, that's cool. Two pounds. I'll be looking for about 20 quid as well, plus postage, because it is all complete. People are selling incomplete ones for 10, 11, 12 pounds plus postage. It's got to be 20 coming up to Christmas, isn't it? Next up, we've got this. This little spud or spuddy. This is Batman. 20 pence this costs. You'll go for about 10 pounds plus postage. A little bit faded, so yeah, I might have to wait a while for it to sell. So the better condition ones will sell out first. And we've got a Builder Bear. And you know what? This is going to be the last just bog standard Builder Bear I ever buy. I've got about three or four of these and the bears just have no value or I, I can't seem to find any value in them at all. Yes, if you can get like a, an, a limited edition value or something that has got a theme like a Pokemon theme or or whatever build a bear theme, but just a plain bear, just rubbish. So I bought this right because of the clothes. Um, you know, I can take those out. I've got lots of other build a bear clothes and I can do a nice bundle with them. But that it costs about two quid as well. You know, just why? I'm still, uh, it might just be me. You know, you might have more luck with Build a Bear than me, but I just, not for me, not for me. Next up, ah, oh, this was quite cool. A bundle of children's books again. And this, I went to the charity shop on a different day and is the same one as the Sweet Valley High books. These are called the Butterfly Children. And these, because they're hardback, so you wanted 30 pence each. Fair enough. Two, three, four, six. So six. Oh, here's my mass again. One pound eighty. Six, twelve, eighteen. Yeah, um, yeah. Six, twelve, eighty. Yeah. Come on. Um, those not as valuable as Sweet Valley High. Let's be honest. I'll be looking for ten pounds plus postage. But yeah, nice little set there. And I didn't find that other Sonic thing. I might just have to describe it. It's a little, it's a Sonic figure that sits about that high. It's really gangly legs. Whenever I sell it, you'll see it. Um, but that was a pound. And I bought that to bundle in with the other thing. Anyway, pound, I found a pair of sketches. Now these are children's size 10 and a half. I paid 3 99 which sounds like a lot for children's shoes. But I've been shopping for my son's school shoes recently. And a pair of sketches like that, brand new, you're looking about 30 to 35 quid, depending obviously on the shop you buy it for. So I thought four quid, that is an absolute bargain. Haven't even looked up solds for those, but surely they've only been used. That's gotta be, if brand new, they're going for 30, 35, that's gotta be 15, isn't it? 15 plus postage, we'll see. And the last two things I, I want to show you, this is a complete stab in the dark. And it's because I just saw a thumbnail of a random video that YouTube wanted me to see. And it is a guy who is investing in the first appearance of big celebrity famous footballers in computer games. And I thought, like, why are you doing that? And like, will these ever be collectible? And hey, look, I, who... I, I personally didn't think football stickers would be as collectible as they are. So, I mean, I found these and they were only either 50 pence or a pound. So I went for it. We've got PlayStation 2, FIFA Football 2004. That is Cristiano Ronaldo's first appearance in a computer game. And we have got FIFA Football 2005. That's Lionel Messi's first appearance in a computer game. Both for PS2. That one's got the manual. That one hasn't. They're worth absolutely nothing at the minute. You might sell them for a pound, pound fifty each. So actually, if you want to, get on eBay and just buy buy them all up if you believe that these might be worth something in the future. I 
I only got them because they were in the charity shop. I'm not going to go out and buy tens. But if I see them in the charity shop, I will probably pick them up and just stick them in a lot. So, guys, that is it for the sales video. Really hope you enjoyed it. My next video, I'll probably do one on, not sales video, that was a pickups video. Next one I will do on sales. Um, yeah, and there'll be a fair few to run through. The shop's picking up, you know, it's getting closer to Christmas. Some of the stuff's selling. I think because I do sell a lot of toys and that type of stuff, it will ramp up even more as we go to Christmas. So that'll be next. But then I've got a special edition because I've done a really good trade with the Welsh Poker Picker. I've traded a SGC graded 10 Shadowless Pikachu card for just a ton of old stock, stuff that I can learn from and resell myself. So guys, hit that notification bell and then you will be notified whenever those videos come up if you haven't already hit that subscribe button hit that like leave a comment and i will catch up with you in the next next video see you guys bye bye